Why are you here, young woman? Lara. All right. Lara? Were you invited here? Did you receive an invitation? Dear Lara, you have been selected to attend a tea party at the Goldsmith Mansion. Whether you attend or not is up to you. Arriving at the gates officially registers you as our guest and a participant of tonight's mystery game, which is the highlight of this tea party. Please look forward to it. The game has a single win condition. The first player to uncover the mystery behind the mansion will be declared the sole winner. As a prize, the victor shall inherit my mansion and its wealth. If by any unfortunate means Jeez, you are unable- you don't have to read the whole thing. Well, she isn't making it up. Our invitations were the same. It's almost as if the sender is daring us to solve it by gambling her entire wealth. I'm getting excited if I'm being honest. Beware, young ones. The witch lurking inside will show mercy to no one. W witch? No surprise that people think there's a witch here. Nobody has seen or heard from the owner in decades. They say his daughter still lives inside. Her name is on the invitations, so that makes sense. She must be quite old now. I guess we'll find out when we go in, but I wonder if we'll ever escape. Don't joke about that. All the stories circulating are very similar. Many people who come to this area mysteriously disappear. Their relatives reported invitations like ones we received. They never came back. Even the police investigated this place, but they didn't find any leads. Uh, yeah, that's what we're here for, Arthur. To investigate. I'm the detective, not you. You're just tagging along. Hello, I have an invitation as well. The witch has tempting methods to lure you into her traps. I urge you to leave so I can begin purifying this place. Sorry to be blunt, but who are you? Were you also invited here? People who come to me for my services address me as Madame Clairvoya. I come from a family of shamans whose lifelong works include the arts of banishing the evil spirits. I do not have an invitation letter, but the strange incidents that had occurred here intrigued me. They have been brought to my attention by a strange distress letter that was anonymously sent from this address. Shaman? Distress letter? <sighs> It mentions a witch called Beatrice, who has been plaguing the occupants of this dwelling. The name matches the sender of your invitations, does it not? How long have you all been waiting here? I reckon you only arrived a minute after we did. The back of the invitation does say to ring the doorbell at 9pm. Which reminds me, nobody has answered the doorbell. I guess one more try wouldn't hurt. Ah! Whoa! Um. Huh? That almost sounded like.
much for a tea party. can crawl through this gap.
Me. My soul cannot stay in this world any longer. I must beat the afterlife with my beautiful red-haired soulmate. Find her, or else I will take your soul along with mine. Don't even think of escaping. Thank you, thank you for finding her. We shall never be separated. As an expression of my gratitude, have this. It's nothing much, but...
no.
Lord, you for having made it this far into my game. Not many are able to. I hope you're enjoying it so far. Are you Beatrice? No, 
Now I suppose I am Beatrice. <laughs> ah, anyway, I give you my personal applause for reaching my private chamber. Where are the others? What have you done to them? You're asking too many questions, little girl. Questions whose answers don't concern you. There is a more pressing matter at hand. That pianist in the dining room below stopped playing my beautiful melody. Now, be a good girl and go command him to continue playing, okay? Why don't you do it yourself? Uh, I have a hot tub waiting for me. Ah, you can consider this part of our game. Enjoy now! <laughs> oh, and happy Halloween! <laughs> Ugh, I think I remember that piano in the dining room, near the front door. Hello? Yes, dear? The witch was wondering why you stopped playing her stupid melody. Ah, well, uh, uh, the music sheet has been stolen by one of the witch's familiars, a golden butterfly. Ah, oh, that witch is toying with me. So, do you know where it is? Can you get it? I would love to, but as you can see... Uh, I'm a very old man, and my legs hurt a lot. Uh, do, do you know where this butterfly went? The pesky creatures usually hang around the Garden of Golden Roses. Please find the sheet. I don't want to get in trouble. I'll be here when you're back.
som jag för dig avstängd till dåren. De män som jag för dig avstängd till dåren. De män som jag för dig avstängd till dåren. De män som jag för dig avstängd till dåren. You there! You seem like you have nothing else to do. I you can... guests always borrow books and never return them. But I... Three books have been borrowed by a guest. A lady who has been visiting Lady Beatrice. I need you to go fetch them for me. I cannot be liable for any missing books. You're the librarian here. <laughs> Obviously. And if your feeble mind hasn't caught on, Women stay in the guest room with the red wallpaper in the floor above. Ugh. Sounds like another one of her silly games. Useless furniture! Oh, now! Oh. 
Is this the book you're looking for, dear? He, yes, but there are two others. Oh, <laughs> right. My daughter borrowed them a while back. If it isn't much trouble, could you look for her? Mm, knowing my daughter, she probably returned the book to the nearest bookcase. Last I saw her, she was watching television and having tea with Lady Beatrice. Oh, and I'm very glad my lady is getting better since I've last seen her. As you might know, she was quite ill. Only one of them is here. There should be one more book. Oh! You're looking for the other book? Beatrice told me she wanted to play a game and hid it somewhere. And then gave me a massive seven-page riddle. That girl is very strange. Her father had just passed away, and she keeps wanting to play games with me. Strange indeed. Do you have this riddle? Oh lord. How do you expect me to remember that? I tossed it in the fireplace a long time ago. But of course, I was able to solve it first. <laughs> Did I scare you? Listen to me if you really want to know. The book is in her late father's bedroom. I would assume it's on one of the bookshelves. I never went there. That room gives me an uneasy feeling. The book should still be there.
The books! Hmm. Well, take this. I wouldn't want to be owing anybody any favors. Certainly not from you. very young. Um, yes. You're lucky to have made it this far. What happened to you? I don't really remember. A girl invited us to play, me and my friends, but they just waited outside because the place scared them. I entered first, then something attacked me. My friends went away, and that's the last thing I remember. <laughs> Poor kid. Who are you, my lady? I am the great adventurer Lara Croft. Ha <laughs> ha! Or at least that's who I want to be, after sorting the mess with my parents. I've always wanted to be a sailor when I grew up, like my father. Really? That sounds awesome. My parents don't want me to become a great adventurer. But let's talk about you now. What makes you very interested in becoming a sailor? Oh, you see, there was a rumour about a ghost ship that had many untold secrets and great amounts of treasure, including the fabled emerald I've always wanted to find. Hmm. Emerald? Maybe you can fulfill my dreams, since you're still alive. The ship has been summoned. Beware the blue flames.
Crystal of the sixth dimension, weave a path of perfection. Allow me to walk on the rifts of your dimension. Orb. Grimoire mentioned this spell can freeze its target, including possessed objects. I better read it again for details I might have missed.
No. Demons and hell beings. After our last one, I met a grisly end. We've been left quite disappointed for a while. But now, we have a new contender. Give it up for Lara Croft. Bring it on. Oh, your monkeying around is going to be a problem. Worry not, I have the perfect solution. Madame Clavoya. Laura, you have finally made it here. Yes, unfortunately, the witch's power is overwhelming mine. I am using the last of my strength to maintain my ghost farm to convey this message to you. It's like I'm chasing my own tail with her. I don't know if there's an end to any of her games. Do not fear. The only reason you have made it this far is because the witch designed her game to be fair. That is the price she has to pay. She gambles with her own life and wealth to gain this immense power. In the end, her own cockiness will be her undoing. 
Never let her consume you, and you will defeat her. But how? I'm no evil witch. You aren't evil, but you wield immense power with that staff. In a sense, you are a witch, Lara. Beatrice, or the witch controlling her body, was once human before she sold her soul to the demons. Right now, it appears that you are the only one who remains that can put an end to her madness. Then how can I confront her? Will she ever show herself to me? I doubt that. She wants you to give up. Don't wait for her to appear. Take the fight to her. The room you are in has an enchanted chair. By lying down on it, you enter a state of astral projection. In that state, you can transfer your consciousness and travel across the astral plane. That is where you will invade the witch's mind. That seems very dangerous. It is. Which is why you have to protect yourself with a charm. I am sensing a very powerful object close by. A dream catcher. It shall protect against demons who will try to hijack your mind in your defenseless state. Alright. A dream catcher. I think I know what those look like. I'll know it when I see it. That's not all. You will also have to align the zodiac clock in this room to be able to see the coordinates. Otherwise, you won't be able to find your way to the witch's mind. You will be lost in the astral plane for eternity. Do you know how to align it? Unfortunately, I do not know the correct combination. Maybe you can find something about it in the bookshelves. I'll see what I can do. Be careful, Laura. Do not attempt astral projection without the correct coordinates and protection from demons. Ah. I would love to aid you, but my power is fading. I must leave you now. Good luck, Laura. Goodbye, madame.
drop something.
Lara! Uh, who's there? On the bed. It's me, Arthur. What happened to you, Arthur? Why are you... a duck? Oh, the witch. She did this to me. I died, but she brought me back to life with her magic and transformed me into this thing. Just for the laughs. She is evil. We should never have come here. I give up. Well, I'm not giving up any time soon. Have you seen the others? No. You're the first one I ran into. From what I can understand, I believe we exist separately, in different versions of the mansion. But how come we can see each other now? It could be because I was disqualified, as I am unable to continue the game. I think the other ghosts here have suffered the same fate. I'm not really sure. Maybe we shouldn't dwell on something that is illogical in the first place. Maybe, there's a way. The witch tossed this paper towards me. I think it's a page from some kind of term for witchcraft. How arrogant. She must have thought nobody would be able to reach you. I'll be sure she regrets ever sending that invitation to me. I'm sorry. This body is made to be very sluggish, so I won't be able to aid you. I can deal with that witch myself. I'll be pulling no punches when I see her. You have my word. Be careful, Lara. I'll come back for you. I promise. Thank you. 
This should work. Thank you, Lara. <clears throat> come, come. Remember your form. The graceful form you used to wear. Tear the veil. Show me your fair. Huh? Arthur? Where did he go? Did I fail? arrived where no one else has. Uh, you think you can beat me? <laughs>
Arthur! You made it! I'm... alive. You too! I didn't think you would make it, if I'm being honest. A young lady like you surviving all of this. If I'm being honest as well, this is nothing new. I've lived wilder days. Huh? What's this? Aha! This is the deed to this land. My name is on there. I have complete ownership of this mansion. Are you going to live there after all that? No, of course not. I'm living at my aunt's, so I might as well just sell this place to fund my future trips. Trips? Oh yes, I'm just getting started.
have finally arrived where no one else has. Uh, you think you can beat me? <laughs> Huh? What's this? Aha! This is the deed to this land. My name is on there. I have complete ownership of this mansion. <sighs> I wouldn't want to live here anyway. Sorry everyone. I couldn't save any of you. Goodbye. It should work. Thank you, Lara. <clears throat> come, come. Remember your form. The graceful form you used to wear. Tear the veil. Show me your fair. Huh? Arthur? Where did he go? Did I fail? arrived where no one else has. Uh, 
You think you can beat me? <laughs> Arthur, uh, you made it. I'm alive. You too? I didn't think you would make it if I'm being honest. A young lady like you surviving all of this. If I'm being honest as well, this is nothing new. I've lived wilder days. <sighs> Alright. I think we should get out of here before anything else happens. What was all that? Was it all a dream? No. It can't be. <sighs> Sorry everyone. I couldn't save any of you. Goodbye. Humans are such pitiful beings, interpreting things in ways only their small minds can handle. That witch consider me as a guest, a mere spectator for her game. As I have no authority in her domain, I had to pull some strings while she was unaware to make things more... interesting. Sometimes aiding pawns through means they cannot even begin to comprehend. But do not misunderstand. I never intended to be your ally. Your running around in circles was getting quite tiresome. That's why I helped you. So I would not get bored. I thought that perhaps you would do something interesting, perform a miracle. But no, you were nothing but a piece in this game. A useless piece that has failed to achieve its purpose. Yet, you managed to escape Beatrice's game board. Empty-handed, however. 
This little episode was merely a short cure for my eternal boredom. An ailment all witches suffer. An ailment that has killed countless witches like me. As a traveling witch, I could certainly spectate a myriad of game boards by other witches and never look back here again. But you... If you are certain that you can turn away, thinking that you have managed to solve a great mystery, think again. And try again. Otherwise, you can go gather dust like the useless piece you are. How unfortunate. 
My, my, if it isn't Lady Burncastell. Do you like my new furniture by any chance? Nice hobby you have there. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for gathering here. Look at the time. The Netherworld spell is about to be released. All of the mansion's timelines shall melt together. Now, let the witching hour begin. Kneel before me and show respect. Grovel and rub against the floor to appease your new master. What was all that? Was it all a dream? No. It can't be. <sighs> Sorry everyone. I couldn't save any of you. Goodbye. How unfortunate. My, my. If it isn't Lady Burncastell. Do you like my new furniture by any chance? Nice hobby you have there. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for gathering here. Look at the time. The Netherworld spell is about to be released. All of the mansion's timelines shall melt together. Now, let the witching hour begin. Kneel before me and show respect. Grovel and rub against the floor to appease your new master.
Everybody, congratulate Lara Croft for winning my game. As per our agreement, you will inherit my mansion and all of the wealth. Well, inherit it after my death, that is. You may now exit my game board and wait for an eternity. <laughs> Was this all for nothing? Beatrice tricks me. <sighs> Sorry, everyone. I couldn't save any of you. Goodbye. What was all that? Was it all a dream? No. It can't be. <sighs> Sorry everyone. I couldn't save any of you. Goodbye. Oh! <laughs> 